folks, High Tech Barbecue here, and today we're doing pork ribs on the big green egg. I wanted to show you a few things here before we get going. Um, I bought a package at uh, BJ's Warehouse Club. Um, came with three in a pack, uh, like $2.99 a pound. It's a good price. Uh, sometimes it goes as low as a buck ninety-nine a pound. So anyhow, you don't have to buy spend a lot on the ribs. So these are the baby back ribs, or these ones are loin back. Uh, a little more meat on them, I guess they go by weight. If they're over a certain weight, they call them loin back. That's what I've heard. Don't hold me to it. So what I'm going to do here first is, for each of these, I'm going to peel the membrane off. You start in the middle with a, a fairly dull knife, and you just get that started, and you can peel the membrane off. I'm going to do that for all three of these, and I'm going to give them a generous coating of Adam's Ultimate Rib Rub. I've tried this before. I like it a lot. The thing it doesn't do is it doesn't overwhelm the, the ribs. And uh, that's something I was really looking for. And so, you know, give that Adam's Rib Rub a try. And uh, I think you'll like it as well. So I've got the three racks. Get the membranes off. Um, coat them generously. And we're going to take them out to the big green egg. We'll see you out there in a minute. All right, folks. We're out at the grill. Uh, I lit the grill earlier. I'm going to set the... Uh, what do they call that thing? The thing that deflects the heat. <laughs> All right, this is an indirect cook, okay? Indirect cook, and you know, some people like to put a lot of wood in there. What I like to do is just take one block of hickory and stick it on the side of the grill, not it right in the middle of the coals, but over to the side. And that kind of makes it burn a little bit slower. And that way, that way I get a little bit of a slow uh, burn the entire time. So that's a piece of hickory. You can buy those at, you know, just about anywhere. Next, I put the water pan in and put some water in there. This is just regular, you know, I used filtered water. Not that that matters, but, you know, it should be clean water because it is going to steam up onto the, the meat. So this is an indirect cook with a water pan. And uh, I find the water pan makes a big difference, especially when doing long, long cooks. All right, so there's the grill. I'm gonna go get the ribs and the rack, and we'll rack them up. Okay. All right, so I, I did, I borrowed my wife's V-rack from her roaster. And I just flipped that upside down, so you know, I don't have to, to buy anything special. Set that in like that. Now, what I've found is, in general, the ribs are too big. They won't go all the way across, you know, see here, might be a little bit too long. I could do that, but what I usually do is just cut them in half, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I got six slots there, you know, I got three full racks, I can easily just cut those in half like this, stand them up, and they'll be ready to go. All right, now in terms of the temperature, um, you know, I've tried a few different things. I think the target for me is somewhere between 250 and 300. And you can, and uh, that'll get you, that'll get you some nice cooking time and good flavor. So, get this last one in here. I always bring a knife out with me for this because you never know when you got to cut something to fit it on the grill. There you go. Just stand them up to the best of your ability. Oops, it's a little tricky here. There you go. Sometimes you got to fuss with it a little bit. A lot of weight there. All right. Get them standing up. Ideally, not touching each other too much. If they are a little bit, no big deal. And that's it. You know, I can smell the smoke already. I'm going to close that. And in general, what I'm going to do is just leave them alone. About 250, 300 degrees, somewhere in that range. Target 275. Um, and we're going to give them about two hours. So we'll see you back in a couple hours. Hey folks, High Tech Barbecue here. Woo -woo. All right. Well, it's been three hours, a little over three hours. Um, I let them go a little longer because I wanted to get a little more brown and uh, uh, let them cook a little bit more. All right, this next stage is optional for... Uh, 
if you like a if you like a meatier, chewier rib, you could just let it cook another half hour, go three and a half hours, and then go into the barbecue stage. But uh, my folks like it tender, so uh, what I do, it's real simple. I just take the rib off, put it in some foil, and close the foil up, and put a little bit of liquid in there. Uh, they say apple juice or beer. I just use a little bit of. So how much? You know, probably no more than the tablespoon. You just don't want it to run all over the place. Seal it up tight, like this. Okay. And then, and you try to be careful that you don't spill the liquid down in. And then just put it right back in the rack like that. So I'll do that for each one of them. And uh, we'll let it go maybe a half hour. I don't want to go too long, otherwise it starts falling apart. So we'll do that, and, uh, and then we'll be right back. folks, High Tech Barbecue here. Wee. Uh, here we go. What you want to do is just pull these out one at a time. Unwrap them. I got the gloves back on just because it's, it's hot. You can see the steam coming out of there. And uh, you know, things start getting a little more tender here. You can see the bones starting to come out. So, uh, you know, short period of time. If you want them more tender, just keep them in there a little bit longer. Maybe an hour or so, hour and a half. It's up to you, so. All right, we've got lots of these. So, <clears throat> and also what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take them all out, and then I'm gonna lay them on the grill, <clears throat> because the last stage is where we uh, put the sauce on. So just take them all out, remove the, remove the V-rack, and there we go. Take this off. All right. All right. So now, take open them up. Come on over here, Beth. Okay. You can see them coming apart here. So that's just how I like them. I don't like them too mushy. So what you're going to do is set them on there. I'm going to set them all on there one at a time, and then I'm going to paint them with barbecue sauce. Now, what I'm going to do is put on some barbecue sauce. Pick out your favorite sauce. I like uh, bone sucking sauce. I've used old mule sauce. I like that real well. Just put it on as thick as you can. Now, I'm only going to do this one side and uh, slather it on as thick as you can. Maybe paint it twice. I'm just going to let it cook in, here, in the grill here for maybe 15 20 minutes and let that caramelize a little bit and then we're ready to eat. All right, we'll see you see you in a few. All right, folks, I brought them in. I'm going to cut them into manageable size pieces. In this case, you know, two ribs. Two ribs and you know, put them on a serving tray. You could you could cut them into individual pieces if you want. You know, like that. That's a nice way to do it. But uh, they, look, they look fantastic. And uh, I tell you, I really think you're going to like this recipe. So give it a try and let me know what you think. From the High Tech Barbecue, bon appetit.